What's up guys, Fancy Lutfi here and welcome to Match Day 2 Preview. Today I'll be running through the fixtures for Match Day 2 and some of my forecasts and predictions and definitely the players that I would recommend to you guys after watching a few matches in the opening round in Match Day 1. So here is how my team is looking with two more matches to be played tonight and so far I should say it is pretty decent. I have three clean sheets in my defense. My midfield isn't too good with only Ozil and Payet doing well. Zamaili and Perisic didn't do too well. Olivier Giroud scoring a goal in the opening ceremony match, but he picked up a yellow card and I thought of gambling on the other players such as Harry Kane and also Thomas Muller but sadly the captain C did not work out so actually I should have stuck with Olivier Giroud but now hopefully David Alaba would get something out of my captains and now let's take a look at the other matches of match day one we have Austria and Hungary to play tonight Portugal and also Iceland in the later kickoff now let's move on to match day two preview. I'll be running through the fixtures and also some of my insight and prediction for these fixtures. So first up on Wednesday, we have Russia taking on Slovakia. Well, these two teams definitely won a good result and have a better game as compared to what they had in match day one. Russia drawing 1-1 against England, they had a pretty good start, but in the second half of the match, they really let their guard down, but somehow they managed to get an equalizer, so really lucky on them. Slovakia, on the other hand, taking on Wales. Gareth Bale had a goal there, and I think definitely they would look to bounce back. So it's a pretty tough match to call, but I have Russia getting the three points. If not, it should probably be a draw. Next up, Romania and Switzerland. Romania put on a pretty good show in the opening ceremony match against France, but somehow France proved to be too strong. And Switzerland, on the other hand, a pretty decent match against Albania. But in this game, I think Switzerland would get the better of Romania, but it would be really close. And the final match on Wednesday is France taking on Albania. Should be pretty easy to call. France should be getting the three points really easily. Moving on to Thursday, the 16th of June. We have England taking on Wales. Well, England, hopefully they would look to really want to get three points after drawing a late one against Russia. I think Russia, Glushikov equalized in the 93rd minute. Wales may be able to contain them, but I think that England would be getting three points here. Next up, Ukraine taking on Northern Ireland. Another pretty close one to call. But maybe I have Ukraine getting three points here. And the final match on Thursday is Germany and Poland. <laughs> this is a really interesting match if you guys know your history. But we are talking football here. Germany should be getting three points against Poland. Although Poland have Robert Lewandowski and Milic who look to score and get three points for Poland. But I think Germany with Mesut Ozil and Toni Kroos at the heart of the midfield with Thomas Muller up front, they should be getting the three points here. And moving on to Friday, the Italians Taking on Sweden, Zlatan Ibrahimovic would look to start scoring instead of assisting in this tournament. And the Italians showed their quality in their opening match against Belgium, where they won comfortably 2-0. Many people were saying that Belgium are the tournament favourites, but for me personally, I'm not buying that because I think there are lots of work to be done for Belgium. Therefore, I think Italy would get the better of Sweden in this match because they have shown character and quality in their opening match against Belgium. Next up is Czech Republic taking on Croatia. 
Well, Czech Republic really had a decent match against Spain in their opening match. Peter Czech was the man of the match to me because he made a ton of saves, a ton of top class saves and hopefully he will be able to replicate that against Croatia. Speaking of Croatia, they have a pretty solid team with Luka Modric, Rakitic, Perisic and up front Mario Mandzukic. Serna is in the team too. Really quality side. Should be a close one but I have Croatia getting three points here. And the final match of Friday the 17th of June, Spain taking on Turkey. I'm actually surprised at how well Spain have been playing in the first match against Czech Republic. I'm a Spain fan but I didn't think that they would be playing as good as they have in their opening match. Alvaro Morata missed a lot of chances in the opening match. Nolito wasn't too effective I should say but the midfielders David Silva, Andres Iniesta, Sergio Busquets and Frances Fabregas and the defenders Gerard Piquet, Sergio Ramos they have been really really good. David De Gea a few good saves in that match although not many that he needed to make. So Spain do look really good and I have them winning comfortably against Turkey. Belgium taking on the Republic of Ireland. Well, in this match, I have Belgium getting the three points because they have quality players such as Kevin De Bruyne, Eden Hazard, Romelu Lukaku and taking on Republic of Ireland, they should get three points pretty easily. Next up, Iceland taking on Hungary. Well, it could go any way because as I'm recording this video. So I have Hungary to get this match three points. If not, Gylfi Sigurdsson can inspire Iceland to a win. Who knows? And finally, Portugal taking on Austria. I think Portugal would really need to contain the Austrians. If not, the Austrian would be getting three points here. Depending on their first match, I have Austria winning this match. So that is my predictions for match day two and I hope you guys have enjoyed